Hey guys, what's up? My name is Michael and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Google Analytics for beginners. Enjoy it. Okay guys, so right now we're here on my blog and uh, as I said, this video will be, this tutorial will be very uh, general and, and really be a, a Google Analytics guide for beginners, just showing you uh, a little overview of Google Analytics features and, and, and things you can do with it to actually analyze the performance of your website and uh, take the necessary steps to uh, make it better. And um, so, so I guess let's just uh, switch, uh, uh, just let's just hop into the Google Analytics dashboard for this website right here, which would look like this. And I just for this tutorial, I just is, assume that you actually manage to sign up for a Google Analytics account yourself, uh, without me having to explaining how to do this or how to uh, put the Google Analytics script code on your website, things like this. So after you've done all of this general stuff, after a while, your anal analytics dashboard will look, look a little bit like this um, depending on how much traffic you have of course like if you if you don't have any clicks or visitors you will not see anything like this here but um, as you can see right here Google Analytics will show you uh, how many uh, visitors uh, or page views you have every single day right so this is very a, a very basic feature right here uh, and that's probably also the reason why you've signed up for Google Analytics in the first place because you just wanted to have like some knowledge about like how many people actually visit your site and and how long do they stay on the site and 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 things like this. So actually, the the, the dashboard already gives you a good overview of of every important thing uh, that you basically need to know about your website, right? Of course, it's not going to tell you detailed things. Uh, like like how many people bought specific products or things like this, right? But um, it gives you a, a good overview on how your site is doing. So um, this analytics right here. So the first thing I probably want to explain is um, the 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 time thing right here. So right now you see the analytics for uh, for the time period of January thirty first uh, till March first, two thousand and sixteen. But of course, uh, we can change to change it to uh, whenever we want. Like we could just say we would just go one year into the past right here, and just do from January first, two thousand and fifteen until uh, now, March first, two thousand and sixteen. Okay, we click, we we check this uh, uh, time, and then we time period and we click apply and it will show us the whole analytics right here and as you can see uh, uh, for my blog it looks it's really uh, not uh, um, it's really up and down you know what I mean uh, one time through specific periods of times on my blog I really have a lot of traffic then not so much things like this um, actually here uh, it's down. This was because we've taken down the site because we have a lot of work st on there, and the Google Analytics code was not on the site this time, and so so that's why it went down here. Um, but um, yeah, that's basically the the the, uh, the time period feature right here. So to make it to make the numbers not so high right here, we just uh, want to switch that back real quick. Uh, we just go January first until now. Okay, and then uh, now I want to explain like these numbers right here a little bit. So you see uh, sessions, users, and page views, with page views being the highest number, which is obvious because um, when Google Analytics says uh, page views, they mean they this is the number of basically everyone who is going on on your site uh, in this specific uh, time frame. So let's say right here I'm on this I'm on my blog right now and I click I just refresh it again uh, this would be basically another page view or I, I I just open the site again this would be another page view but of course this would never be another user because users I actually they used back in the day they used to call it unique visits so that's basically like one person actually 
who, who visits the page. So if one person comes to your website and clicks the same page or another page like 10 times, this counts as 10 page views, but it can only count as one user. So users, users uh, that basically means that users and especially sessions are of more value basically than page views because page views can also easily be faked and stuff. So yeah. So next thing is our pages uh, per session. So basically that means how many pages the, the user uh, looks at on average when he visits your site. So let's say for example, I come to the site, I land here. That's the first page, page I'm visiting right here. So if I go to online marketing, YouTube marketing, that would be the second page, right? So then in this case, I would have viewed like two pages and on average they view 1.38 pages in my case. In your case, it probably looks different. It really depends also on what kind of site you're running. So yeah, if you run e-commerce site, that will be like, this number will most likely be higher. Maybe in some other video or something, I will show you some other sites because this site right here is my blog. I don't really have like too much traffic yet on there, uh, which would change pretty soon though. But I have sites that get massive, massive amounts of traffic, but I don't want to show you right now because of some, some SEO reasons, things like this. So, um, so the average, uh, session duration right here, uh, in my case, it's one minute and, and seven seconds. I mean, there's nothing really I can say, explain here. You probably, you know, that the average session duration is just the average amount of time the user spent on your side, right? <clears throat> the bounce rate is a little bit more interesting. That's basically how many people land on your side and then immediately kind of drop off and, and leave the side because um, th that really shows you a lot of a lot about your 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 quality uh, of traffic and things like this and it's really depending on the kind of site you have also because let's say let's just say you have a site where people like um, have some, where they already come on with a high involvement through some traffic source uh, that, that made their involvement very high and then they land on the site and they have an article they really really want to read like 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 some new site or something like this then the bounce rate in, for this particular page will be less than something where they just untargeted people come on the site or or people who are not so much involved and and things like this and new sessions right here that's just the percentage of uh, yeah new sessions you got basically like how much how like how many of your of your actual of all the people who visit your site are new sessions and and not uh, recurring with returning visitors as you can also see in this chart right here uh when we scroll down a little uh we have all these demographic uh demographics and 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 system information and uh op about operating systems what people are using things like this so basically i i think i don't have to explain too much here because you basically know what it means like language means for example, like 50% of the people you visit your site speak English, 20% they don't know, 8% uh, a 6% speak uh, a great uh, English, English basically, so or 4% speak German. So, um, and when you look at the countries, you can see where your most of your uh, uh, traffic is coming from. Same thing, pretty easy, or uh, which city. So. And mobile plays a pretty big role right here. You have to know how many people on your site are actually coming, uh, actually visiting your site on a mobile phone, like an iPhone or an Android phone. And uh, and uh, that's, how, that's how, then you know how much you have to value mobile on your site and how much you have to uh, do for these kind of uh, people to actually optimize your site. So you can turn them into customers or, or uh, subscribers or whatever it is. Um, it really depends on the, on the niche though, kind of like, but in general, you can say around like 50% nowadays are mobile users. So, so that's pretty much what I can tell you about like the, uh, just the general dashboard and everything and, uh, and how, how this works. Um, I actually made a, a more detailed guide on, on, on how I use, uh, Google analytics to, to really, really optimize my websites. And uh, I will explain everything in this tutorial, like how to an analyze your traffic, how to uh, uh, find out which traffic is, has more value than the other traffic source because these people co are converting better and how to do that, how to see 
uh, where people are actually coming from, how to optimize that, um, things of this nature. So if you're interested in this, uh, you will find a link in the description to uh, more Google Analytics uh, uh, tutorials in detail. And uh, hope you liked the video and it helped you a little bit uh, with your first step in, in steps in Google Analytics. And uh, have a nice day. Goodbye. And don't forget to like the video and uh, subscribe. Yeah.